Welcome back. State and federal law enforcement officers continue their search for a Pennsylvania prison escapee. Authorities say there was another sighting of the convicted murderer today. Daniello Cavalcante has now been on the run for eight days. The focus now, a nearby creek. The fear is that if he is able to breach the officer's perimeter and get into the waterway, he could slip farther out of sight. There is a $20,000 reward for his capture. Okay, so we got to show you this video. This is a doorbell camera. This is Racine, Wisconsin. And as you can see, that's a school bus passing by. It blows right through a stop sign and then gets hit by a city bus. Thankfully, no students in the bus uh, were in that bus during the crash. Police say eight people on the city bus were hurt, plus two more in the school bus. Police are investigating. Peloton facing a lawsuit tonight by the family of a New York man. They are claiming he was killed by his Peloton bike just months after buying it. The lawsuit states that Ryan Furtado was doing a workout on the floor when he grabbed the bike to help him stand up. And that's when it spun around, hitting his neck, severing his carotid artery. Peloton says negligence is to blame, not the company. Danny Masterson, former star of That 70s Show, has been sentenced to 30 years to life in prison in the rape of two women more than two decades ago. He was accused of raping three women at his Hollywood Hills home, but the jury deadlocked on the third rape charge. The judge today also rejected a defense motion for a new trial. The company behind the viral One Chip Challenge is pulling it from shelves. It comes after a teenager died after eating the chip, which is made from Carolina Reaper peppers and Naga Viper peppers. Packy posted on its website that while the chip is intended for adults only, more minors are eating it, so it's working to get it off of shelves. There's an investigation currently underway after this disturbing discovery was made this week at a donation box at an Arizona Goodwill store. Police say somebody likely dropped off that human skull over the weekend, found along with taxidermy supplies and a few other bones. Police believe the skull is ancient and not actually related to a crime.